Evening guys, how are we doing? Starting out on today's wild camp. Nice little walk, it's um, just gone seven o'clock. It's still light out because I wanted to get some decent footage in the day. And I'm mega, mega packed. You can see from my bag, packed um, overkill for a night out in the woods. Um, off to my regular spot, I wasn't going to. I was gonna have somewhere different and the reason that hasn't come about was I ordered a one-man tent, which I'd hoped to arrive by the weekend. However, after not hearing anything all week, I got an email today saying there was an issue with the stock. So I'm not getting my one-man tent that I ordered. <laughs> Fly. Um, so I'm out again in the purple tent. I'd wanted to come out in the snug pack, busy and tarp, but I wasn't sure of the weather. It's supposed to get cold again tonight, so I thought I'd bring the tent. Uh, packed mostly for a tent camp anyway, but sadly the tent's not arrived. Anyway, right, I'm going to crack on and hopefully get some footage in the daylight before it gets dark. Then I'd have to record all that nonsense on the uh, on the GoPro with the torch again. Anyway, I'll speak to you in a bit. That could be an interesting night because it is very, very wet around here. It's practically a river running down the footpath. And both sides of the path are full of bog and back there which I won't film um, the path was a bog similar to that and I had to go across it so the tra my shoes and trousers seem to have come off all right anyway we'll get to my spot see what it's like up there oh, it's getting a bit dark for this camera already which is annoying because it's not that dark out here um, I just have a rubbish phone camera hoping to get a new smartphone soon I'm just too lazy and I don't like phones and phone contracts and things so difficult but um, anyway that's by the by <laughs> I'm a completely different place in the area of woodland where I normally am so I'm gonna try and locate where I normally go which will be fun because I'm not quite sure um, yeah anyway it's a nice walk if not but it might mean the footage isn't great again in the daylight so we'll see how it is uh, I've got my walking poles to set up my tarp because again rains of potential it's not forecast today but Sunday is torrential rain and Sunday into Monday I think is um, flood warnings so uh, yeah Ooh, a bit more light so there's potential there for some rain so I bought my little snug pack basher just thought I'd create a little entrance to the tent I forgot my walking poles being in woodland I'm sure we can find something we'll see how it goes what else anything else to say today um so far I don't think so it's nice temperature in fact I'm far too warm in this fleece and merino base layer really shouldn't have come out in that but I'd know where to stash it so uh, sometimes in my videos you see me walking away and I've got loads strapped to the outside of my bag well I generally do that when I'm packing up and going home but when I come out on a walk I tend to avoid doing that I tend to keep my pack free I've climbed mountains with stuff hanging off my pack and it's not good for you the swinging of it the moving of it it's nice to have it all packed and then you can distribute the weight too so hopefully I'm filming all right with the gimbal not really played with it much but that's that anyway so yeah I'll carry on walking sunset uh, sunset was lovely but I've disappeared behind a hill now so see how it goes yeah another night out in the woods it's a shame it's not a different location completely that come in a few weeks probably I need to scout it during the day before I head there in the dark again I was later getting out than planned uh, not because I was putting my little girl to bed because that wasn't me today my wife did that, I just uh, didn't get the bag packed in time really. But I had a nice evening with them, so makes up for it. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can find my way about now. Get back to you in a bit. Well, I'm off at my normal spot. Um, I found a footpath to approach on, and actually, I think it's a bit more obvious than uh, I thought, so I'm gonna have to be careful and uh, perhaps not set up the tent until it gets dark. See if I can put up a tarp in a minute, maybe, but. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Anyway, there is a nice sunset behind me. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> yeah, so it is nice up there. It's nice out here, it's a good temperature now. Um, I was starting to sweat quite a bit. So I've had to <laughs> dump the gear, take everything off, and I'll need a drink in a minute. So, yeah. Um, still out of breath. I'm not very fit. <laughs> problem is I load up the packs massively and then I walk be only about two and a half miles here I think I'll check the GPS in a minute but 
not far and I'm exhausted. So I need to work on my fitness before the summer. Hill climbing with big packs. <laughs> and ugh, my back is so wet, that's horrible. Never mind. Anyway, that'll dry out in a sec. This is merino, so hopefully it will um, wick out into the air before. And then when it temperature does drop, I can stick the fleece back on. Um, better hang my fleece out as well, actually. So, yeah, I'll set something up in a minute, maybe, and uh, see how I get on. Right, <coughs> hopefully you can see me. I've got no clue, um, and I can't see anything because that's so bright. Anyway, tent set up. You're going to see behind me, hopefully. <coughs> um, annoyingly, just as I got the tent out, I saw someone with a torch walking in the distance. Now, the good thing is it's so dark in the woods that um, people are using torches. The bad thing is, out in the open, this tent is so bright that if you come out in the open, you'd see it from a mile away. <laughs> it's only a light purple. That's why I want that green one-man tent, so I can come out and be a bit more subtle. Anyway, that's, uh, that's me set up. don't have a muzzy net. It feels like there's some bugs around. A few, but um, it might just be my silly hair getting in my eyes. We'll see. Uh, tent's not quite set up as I'd hoped. I've fiddled with it a few times and it's still not quite tensioned correctly. The inside sags a bit, but the inside's not touching the outside at least. So if we rain, we shouldn't have too many problems if it rains. Yeah, and uh, I'm just going to sit here for a bit. Because I can still see with the naked eye, sit here for a bit, enjoy that. And then when it gets a bit darker, I might have something to eat or drink. And, yeah, have a go. Anyway, I'm nice and relaxed, which is good. I'll just show you inside the tent, similar setup to last time I got reflective mat, my outkit mat. Probably about the 20th time I've used the outkit inflatable mat, and I can't fault it. Um, cheap, it seemed warm enough on the cold camp, even though I had this underneath, of course. Um, I've not punctured it, I've used it as an airbed at home when people visit. When I visited elsewhere, I've used it camping. <coughs> I've used it directly out on the, the floor, which I didn't like the idea of out here, but I have done. Different sleeping bag today, I've got. Um, and a jungle act by Mammut. I think it's the Tundra 195. Anyway, I've had it for probably 20 years anyway. Um, since I think it was the first long bag I, I got. The 195 I think is the length. It's the first big bag I got when I grew out of children's ones. In fact, I think actually it's a lie. It's the first one that was bought for me, but I think I had second-hand ones before that. Uh, good bag. I think its comfort rating is minus 5 to plus 20. So, whatever the temperature range, it's, in, it's within the comfort range today. Um, I was warm enough last time with what I had, so I'll be more than warm enough this time. I had to put my down jacket on because I'm cold. Uh, but then I only had a, a merino base layer and a thin fleece on. So yeah, that's one thing. Uh, confession to make, I haven't eaten much today. I had my first Subway in years and I only had a six inch one. That was all I've eaten today. And that was bad, so my walk up here and everything set in the tent up, I suddenly got a bit funky. and just sort of got really cold suddenly and realised it was probably lack of calories so munching into some honey roasted cashews and Haribo but I uh, do have some food to make in a minute I say food, dinner isn't really food so that's not good dinner is a cup of soup <laughs> but anyway, uh, I've got a little mp3 player today to listen to if I want to and I've got the book I'm currently reading, Extreme Sleeps I'm shaking, sorry I haven't got my gimbal on at the moment so. Uh, yeah, Adventures of a Wild Adventures of a Wild Camper by Phoebe Smith. I think she's got a second one out, which I'm going to have to read after this, but it's a good book so far. Anyone into wild camping will appreciate it. Sort of tongue-in-cheek humour and yeah, it's good. Anyway, there's a camera gimbal box, which was chunky even to carry it along with me. But I think I'm going to relax for a bit more and then make myself me a cup of soup and a hot drink. Let the temperature drop a bit. Oh, I've been sat down a while, I've warmed up a bit, um, hens are cold, and I didn't bring my little glove liners, so I've only got a big thick pair of gloves which I don't want to put on yet. Um, <coughs> I haven't seen the temperature actually, I'll have to look in a bit. Got the temperature sensor on the tent again. So, Anyway, stove system's different today. Um, I'm bored of using a gas stove, I thought something different. Now some of you um, may laugh at me for this, but it's a, it's a Trangia spirit burner. However, I don't know how much alcohol they use to boil how much liquid or to cook how much food, or if they're any good for cooking, so it might go disastrously wrong. Well, not wrong, but it, it might not work very well. We'll find out, won't we? So, anyway, in this little um, pouch here, I have... Uh, toggles come off, again. The burner, and around the burner. It's a, it's a proper Trangia burner, but from Hong Kong on eBay, I got this nice little um, stand. You fold the legs out, 
and then you fold the arms out. You have yourself, when you pop it out, you have yourself a nice little stove. There. Hopefully you can see that still. Yeah, that's good. By the way, I've been using this little red glow stick to see what I'm doing without having to put a torch on. Although, again, the naked eye is pretty much good enough to um, see everything that's going on. Right. Okay, so, I've got a little pot which I've made. Well, I didn't make the pot, I've got the pot, but a little pot. Which I've laid what up so that no one thinks it's anything else. And I don't know how much this holds. Is it written on there? No. Okay. So, I've no idea how much this holds. Um, but I'm planning on boiling dinner, potentially a cup of Horlicks, coffee in the morning. Um, yeah, with it all. We'll see. Uh, well, be a good test of it anyway. I'm not too far from home. I can do without um, breakfast if I have to. I'd like to have breakfast out because to me that's half the appeal of coming out today. Um, just removing breakfast from the pot now. Sorry. I sit there staring at nothing. Okay, well. I light it with this new ferro rod um, got today yeah. and I have my stainless pot set with me and inside I have all the bits I need but hopefully in here a little cup uh, ooh, Coleman Peak no idea the capacity of this either so uh, I didn't think that through either did I again I've not used this stove but it doesn't really I suppose I could, could do it like that maybe. It's a bit close for the flame. As long as those arms don't get ruined in the heat. So we might do it like that. I also recently bought another little ferro rod. Um, cheap one off eBay just as a spare, which I have with me. So all of that can be done for breakfast, ready to cook breakfast tomorrow. Uh, right, I'm going to have to pause this and come back to you. Right, that should be unpaused. Yeah. Okay, now, I hate to embarrass myself here. I can turn my head to watch off. I hate to embarrass myself here because I've not used any of this, but... Um, Lovely, I'm just filling the pot with uh, bits off my rod. Mm, who, uh, who says, <coughs> with shards of the uh, material that covers it. To add a little bit more fuel, it seems to have moved around or disappeared. Oh, how much more? Oh, and I spilt some. <coughs> this is the Van Gogh, um, Van Gogh fuel, which I hope is the right sort of stuff. Yeah, I hope so anyway. Why am I trying to be fancy in these things sometimes? Let's just see if I can... No. I think a match would have been a better investment. Keep doing that, pausing it and unpausing it. Um... I get a flame and then it goes out. Okay, got a flame on the go. Just about see that on there. Oh, that was a lot of effort, or a lot more than I expected. Um, yeah, the rod's obviously got its coating on, so a lot of that coating has ended up in the, the oxidised coating has ended up inside there. There also appears to be a bit of a breeze. Oh no, it's burning all the stuff that wasn't quite... Um, spilt. Hopefully it'll burn off the spilt stuff in a second. Leave again and I'll get back to you again. So we've got an overly massive um, <laughs> windshield up now. So and the ratios for this cup of soup are all wrong so it's probably going to be quite foul really. It's not, so it's not a cup of soup. It's another Naked Noodles product. So they run off. There we go, it's starting to burn through the jets now. I didn't wash this stainless cup before I came out. It's quite an old cup, so you know, it poisoned me. Should be alright. 
Now, definitely isn't going to rest on there like that. So, risk of burning myself again. Say so again, I haven't burnt myself on this yet. There's always time. It's the problem with trying things for the first time. I always get a bit faffy. Right then. That is something to help me. Uh, plastic spoon, what could possibly go wrong? I'm quite cautious of the fact that because it's an alcohol stove, there's a nice flammable liquid in there to spill. Let's leave that on there and see what happens. Um, yeah, don't want to spill any burning alcohol everywhere. Uh, I think it's actually the, the Van Gogh biofuel, I'm not sure. Off the top of my head, I've got it at home. I can show you then. But this is what dinner will consist of. Thai chilli chicken soup naked noodles. I'm supposed to add it to 200ml of water, third of a pint. Yeah, I don't think that's quite that, but we'll get there. Right, I've wasted enough of your time chatting nonsense. I'll get back to you when it's done. Well, I was thinking while that sits and heats up and uh, it's heating up all right, let's have a look. He says, find a torch. Yeah, it's boiling quite well. But while that sits there and boils, you can smell the burning liquid quite well, to be fair. So I probably shouldn't be sat down with it. Certainly going to ventilate the tent afterwards. I'm not in the tent, um, but close to. You see the wind keeps flaring up as well. Um, sounds like we might have a boil. Let's have a look. Oh, a very good boil on there. Keep going a little bit longer and then uh, snuff that out. Keep seeing lights in the distance, thinking it's people with torches, but actually it's aircraft coming in to land at the local airport. Busy night down there tonight by the look of it. Let's see how hot this is. This little handle is decent temperature. So now I have a problem I didn't consider. Just to snub that out, I've got to close those arms. Hmm. <laughs> Silly Billy. I need to find something, a little metallic utensil if I can. Something to do it with. Yeah, and I think there could be a lot of great times to be had in the UK. And uh, thanks, Wind. And there's some great uh, books about adventure, some great uh, YouTube videos about adventure, people having an adventure in the UK. I screwed that up big time. Uh, how do I do this? We got one tent peg to hand, annoyingly. Dirty as well. Doesn't matter. So, yeah, if uh, I don't know what your reasons are for going out and wild camping and doing these things, but feel free to let me know in the comments. See what happens. See what you think. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's one of those hobbies that sort of you do to get away as well from normal life and from the mundane and I'd be sitting indoors playing PlayStation all the time if I if I wasn't out doing this. Well, I wouldn't be all the time, I've got other things to do but that's seized up. That's why I'm struggling. Hoping this doesn't go really wrong on camera. Oh, there's our stiff arms. So I've learnt a few things. Snub this about this little stove to turn the stove around to snub it. There we go. One of the things I have learned, of course, is that's not as hot as I thought it was going to be. And I realised now I've snubbed it, there's no light. But anyway, I snubbed it successfully with my tent peg in my hand. Ooh, mud. Yeah, this is one I just found in the ground. I don't think it was from last time. I think I might have put it in earlier on the door and taken it off again. But either way, that's my... Um, Ooh. That's my little trangia, and there's my little cut, which is looking a bit funky. Oh, just go for it. Boiled anyway. You all right? Well, anyway. Yeah, but we, we sort of share this hobby, and people think we're all a bit weird. It is a bit weird, really, going out into the woods, <coughs> camping on your own when you've got nice warm telly at home, a nice warm home. Television, magazines, books, the internet, whatever you want. I sit and watch loads of YouTube. I don't watch any telly. Um, watch lots and lots and lots of YouTube. Play too much PlayStation when I get the time. Although I'm 
don't get much time at the moment for anything. That's why it's nice to get out on a bank holiday weekend and yeah, stir that up. Right, I'm going to sit and enjoy this. Stop yabbing on. I'll catch up with you soon. Now, I know I said last time I didn't really want this hanging up in the tent, this lantern. Um, actually, it's got such a long chain on it and a hanger that it's well away from each side of the tent. Even in the breeze here, it's not going to uh, touch the sides. Plus, there's not a lot of heat coming out. That plate on the top seems to take all the heat. Uh, one thing I didn't like about it today was I couldn't, when I slid the glass down and lit it, I couldn't slide the glass back up. It, well, I did in the end, but it was a bit of a fiddle. Um, so I left my grubby fingerprints all over the glass. Thankfully, I rubbed them down with my T-shirt without setting fire to it, but just a pain, really. Um, I don't know why that was. It went down fine, just didn't want to come back up. Anyway, I can sit and read my book now. There's enough light coming from this so that I can. I might turn my thermometer on and check the temperature. Well, I've got it lit again. It's um, not easy to light with a ferro rod, that. I don't know if it's because there's no... It might be too cold, there's not enough vapour coming off. I'm going to try and put the cup straight on it. Or uh, actually, I'll give it a minute to... Give it a minute to start to burn. Um, it took a fair bit of striking. <laughs> you just worn a lot of the coating away on this and covered that stove in and all the bits coming off of it, so... Yeah. If anyone's got any advice as to why that is, is it just the temperature? Um, the fact that it's not creating a vapour? Too cold out here or... What's the best way to light these anyway? Everyone finds when you're out and about and there's a breeze and it's cold. Interested to know. Okay. Woo! That's interesting. <laughs> Turn that off but... Pop this straight on here and hopefully when it starts to boil See, it does fit. I should have done that the first time. The other option I had was to, if this didn't sit on here, I was going to take the big pan, measure some water out of this into the big pan, use the big pan on it. However, this, this will do, hopefully. So you can but try and learn from these things. But yeah, please let me know if you know an easier way to light these or how to light them in the cold. So, anyway, this is going to be my cup of Horlicks and then I'm going to retire to the tent because, uh, been sat in there for about an hour, what's the time? It's, it's only half ten actually, but been sat in there for a while and chilling out. It's quite warm with the candle lantern on. In fact, I think it's raising the temperature in there considerably. Well, I say considerably, two or three degrees. What does the uh, sat-nav says? At some point it got down to four. Since I've set the tent up, I turned the temperature sensor on. It's probably not focusing, but it got down to four degrees, and now apparently it's seven. Um, temperature sensor is mounted to the... Uh, to the outside next to the candle lantern so it could be the heat of the candle warming that up it could just be the air temperatures warmed up I don't know uh, I haven't moved the temperature sensor since so Let's see but anyway I'll make my Horlicks uh, and I'm going to sit and read my book and chill out absolutely in love with that candle lantern such a great light to work under much better than LEDs and things um, nice to read Keeps your night vision quite well as well. The only downside to it is, lights my tent up like a beacon for miles around. However, I've risked it tonight. I'm just enjoying it so much. I've gone for the risk. And yeah, anyway, my feet are numb because they've been out of the tent all night so far. But I'm hoping to get wrapped up in there soon, like I say. And then this will be the last filming for the night. And I'll catch you in the morning. Sleep well, everybody. Morning, it's uh, 5.30, I'm awake now, um, lovely and toasty in here, still only in my uh, base layer fleece and sleeping bag, uh, I've only got the hat on to control the crazy hair, I've just put it on, didn't want to appear on camera first thing uh, without it, so put that on for that, I'm really really tired, um, insomnia was a problem again, uh, probably 11 o'clock I probably tucked myself in and finished reading and turned all the lights off and I was still awake at 2 rolling around still hadn't slept yet 2 was the last time I remember anyway it's um, <coughs> I thought I set an alarm and the alarm was going off in my dream and it started to really annoy me and eventually I woke up 
20 minutes after the alarm started I've decided to to get up at this time so that I can sleep tonight hopefully firstly I want to see the sunrise and I want to be awake when that happens I think that's in about an hour but also so that if I wake up early I can perhaps sleep tonight and my shift pattern in the coming week uh, involves me getting up early so yeah it's going to help me with that hopefully oh. Well, when it gets a bit um, lighter, I might wake up and sit and watch the sunrise with a coffee. And then when it warms up a bit, uh, pack my tent away and then have breakfast, perhaps. We'll see which order to do it in. All right. Well, before the sun does come up, I thought I might sit and read my book under the candle lantern. Uh, I'll turn the light on. There we go. I have to leave the inner unzipped. So there's a cold breeze coming through. Not That's not the reason why, but that's created a cold breeze. The reason why is because with that up, of course it sits up there, it gets very close to the lantern and it gets a lot hotter in the top there. Um, so all the heat is escaping out. Well, not all the heat, most of the heat. My alarm going off. Most of the heat is, is escaping and going out the vent of the tent because um, when it's zipped up, it produces a lot more heat to the point where I think it's going to melt the... Uh, sides of the tent so I'm gonna have to leave it open a bit and it is fairly cold I didn't realize how warm the sleeping bag is keeping me um, my arms are cold now they're out the sleeping bag although that's nice to acclimatize but the rest of me is going to stay zipped up in it for a while yeah I'll wait for the sun to come up a bit and uh, yeah I'm just gonna sit and read I think chill out well I can see with the naked eye outside that this camera can't. So that's the moon, really, really bright on one side. And then over there, as you can see, is the sun sort of starting to make an appearance. A bird just flown through the shop. And um, very little cloud over there. Quite a bit of cloud in that direction. And nothing over there where the moon is. <coughs> So it's, it's a shame I can't share the uh, the way this place looks. One day I'll carry my DSLR out and get some nice sort of still pictures. Um, yeah, with, with with the decent exposure times that you can sort of see the colours and see everything out. But it's going, it's going to be a lovely day. Still about three degrees out. So I've put my down jacket on and I'm sat up in the sleeping bag with the tent door open. And the candle lantern on the floor now, so yeah, just let it come up a bit longer. I got my cupper on the go. Um, I used a stick to light it today. I lit the stick with a lighter and popped it right in the uh, down into the fuel, and it ignited fine. So that was the best way to do it. I found um, that's why matches would probably be a better idea. I usually carry matches with my jet boil and things, but anyway. Um, Two-in-one coffee sachets again. Now, normally I bring one of these two-in-ones, some separate sugar, and then another coffee sachet, just sort of normal instant coffee to mix, because I'm not really a fan of these um, whiteners that you get in these coffee sachets or all these powdered milks. They give it a funny taste, so double the coffee tends to take that away, but I didn't have any plain coffee sachets left, so I'll have to do for now. I've been trying to take some pictures on my phone, and I just... I can't stand the camera on my phone. The colour is all washed out and horrible, all grainy. Don't like it. Um, yeah, I'm going to potentially look at upgrading my phone this weekend. We'll see. As long as the new phone does decent video like this, because this is the best way to film, I found. Anyway, right. I'll leave this to ball. And I'll see you shortly.
Sorry, I'm a bit shaky. Um, the camera isn't even doing it slight justice, but that is a bright red sun rising over there. Through the trees, there's a, like a ridge line of a hill, and it's raising over the top of that now. It looks, it looks like a, the most intense fire you've ever seen. It's either the sun rising or it's the apocalypse. Being Easter, return of Christ and all that, it uh, could be possible. I hope not. Never mind. So, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, sunrise. I'm going to sit and watch this because the camera's not going to pick it up, so sit and watch it myself. I'm being joined by a deer. Where's it gone? It's behind that tree. There. It's seen me. There you go, you can just about see it on screen. It's very curious as to what I am. Sorry for the camera shake, it was picked up in a hurry. Right, time for breakfast. So, the tent is down. But the uh, the ground sheet's quite damp and muddy, so I'm just going to leave that out to air um, here. Although, I say, we'll go out in the bathroom when I get home and spend probably all week there. Um, yeah, i got a big pot. There's nothing in it yet, see? Ta-da! In fact, take that off there for now. Prepare some food here. So today I've got baked beans, Branston, my favourite, but I'll eat any. Prefer. Only one pepper army. And two boiled eggs, some herbs and spices. Now, I was meant to have um, some chicken and some stuffing as well to put in the beans. Uh, I think it was cooked this week, so that's at home. I can eat that for lunch, I guess, but... Yeah, it's a, it's a shame <laughs> I didn't bring that. So it's going to be beans with some egg, some pepperoni in. Nothing too exciting, but nice to start the day. It's all right up here now. There's, uh, there's quite a few dog walkers out and about giving me some strange looks. Thankfully, they're in the distance. So, the tent is down. Shouldn't be so bad. Right, I think let's crack on, make breakfast. Right. Breakfast is cooking away nicely in there. So I've just chopped the eggs up, chopped the pepper army up, and put it all in the beans. It doesn't take long to heat up either. The problem is it's sticking to the bottom of the pan like crazy, so it's going to be fun cleaning that when I get home. Uh, other thing to note was... Um, <laughs> I had fun with the eggs because one of them had been crushed in my bag so the shell was in a million pieces picking that off was a pain in the ass but um, got there in the end it's probably a bit, few bits of shell in there with it and uh, and I washed, did it all in my mug and my mug got full of egg but I seem to have washed it up in the field quite well yeah, getting hungry, look forward to that I'm all packed away now. Uh, as you can see before, I said about strapping to the outside. Got my tent on the outside, my sitting mat, and my pound land stall. The aircraft taking off. Um, yeah, I didn't carry them in that way. I'm carrying them out that way because it was easier to pack the rest of the bag while I sat on the stool and the kneeling mat made breakfast. Yeah, and the same with the tent. It 
sort of went away last so I don't want to have to reshuffle the pack out here. Rest of breakfast, Turkish Delight Bar, Harry Bowen, some Sultanas. You see the area I was camped in, uh, I haven't left anything behind, I haven't left a mess. Now I would say leave no trace, but kind of being outdoors kind of destroys that ethos in general because you always leave a presence, whether it's a path trampled or um, just being out disturbing animals, for example. Yeah, but there is no trace I've been here. And if you think it looks trampled, the whole thing has recently been um, recently been sort of hacked about. There's a lot that's been cut down up here. Everything's been trampled. The stumps about, so it's not my doing. Right. Anyway, I'll get on my walk home now. I might have a very long detour on the way home. I might go for a nice morning stroll, we'll see. I have got my down jacket on, so I'll have to take that off at some point. <coughs> right, how are we doing? Playing with the gimbal again. <laughs> Hopefully, make stable footage, and uh, and you can actually see me in shot because some of those that footage I did last night, I don't think you could see me. I'm not sure. You have to let me know. <coughs> anyway, I'm going to uh, go for a little walk now. Enjoyed my camp. I feel refreshed. I didn't sleep much, but it's still a good night regardless. Thanks for watching. Uh, might be a bit more footage on the end. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, holding it a bit low. <laughs> I will say is thank you to anyone who watches my videos. I hope you enjoy them and I hope they're of some use to someone. Thanks if you subscribe. I've got a couple more subscribers after my last video and I'll say thank you for that. If you, uh, if you subscribe to me and you make videos yourself, I'll be watching those. I do watch those. I love watching YouTube videos because I can fit them in as and when. And uh, yeah, make it as I need to. I don't know where I'm going, sorry. I have no idea where I'm going. Let's try up here. No idea whatsoever. <laughs> Just going to have to try. I wonder. See how far I go. And then end up going home. But, uh, yeah, cheers for watching. And happy camping if you go out. Such a strange thing to say, but enjoy your uh, time outdoors anyway. Whatever you get up to. Biking, walking, climbing. Cycling. Anything. Yeah, have a good one. turned out to be a lovely day. Um, I put the, put the gimbal away because it was a pain to carry. So I have to deal with this now. Um, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous day. My bag's getting bigger by the second. So I put more in it. And uh, yeah, say good morning to some nice dog walkers. Some people have blanked me. I guess it looks intimidating with a big bag, but you don't tend to get that when you're really remote, do you? People, for some reason, in cities and towns don't like saying hello to each other. You're a weirdo. Then when you get into uh, get into the countryside, people are more than happy. However, this is sort of a mixture of both, so... I'm going to carry on walking and leave you to it. I need to... Uh, I need to invest in some scales to weigh my bag. Um, because actually, this bag might be massive. Ah, there we go. Get a better view. Um, might be massive but it's um, not very heavy whereas last time I came out my bag was quite heavy and the other week I went out for a day walk my bag was really heavy I suppose water is the, the heaviest thing but still even then um, it's nice to uh, nice to be able to know how much it weighs and then I can see if I can improve because weight's not important on trips like this but it becomes important when you get long distance and things I don't know where I'm going again <laughs> Problem with chatting to the camera, I don't pay attention. Uh, right. Okay, anyway, I think I know. I'll go this way. So, uh, this probably will be the last time I film today. I'm enjoying my walk. 
we get close to a road so the noise is going to get louder and yeah just yeah I'm really, really enjoying it it's a nice morning especially when I've got so much to do when I get home <laughs> first things first have a coffee though so what's the time it's 9am so probably be home by 10 probably before then maybe 40 minutes 45 minutes home possibly we'll see depends on whether I find my way and if I get distracted by anything on the way well, I'll end it at that thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on another camp soon hopefully within the next few weeks <laughs>